SmackDown. Yeah, we didn't do, um, me just didn't do Raw because but complica kinda, complication it, with my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't trying to write. But it happens. So, we'll probably next one. And plus, Raw wasn't really interesting anyway. It was more talking, so. You don't want to break out just talking. Yeah. But, anyway, now it's SmackDown. Yeah. New Day starts off SmackDown. Um, and then they're talking. And then Dolph shows up. He's just pretty Ziggy much... Ziggy Wiggy. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And he, he's pretty much just saying that this Sunday, uh, that he's going to be um, making Kofi Kingston... He's gonna like literally, let's see, he's gonna literally hurt him in the cage. He's, he's, it's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. Like he keeps repeating himself. It's gonna be him. It should have been him. And, um, Kofi's like, I'm still going to walk out to as champion. You're not gonna beat me. Yep. Um, and also, you don't have to worry about, don't have to worry about that right now, but what you should worry about is my brother, Xavier Woods. He's so itching for a fight. Yeah. <laughs> and you see him, like, kind of like... Eh. And Dust <laughs> said, if it wasn't for your buddy, I would be champ right now. Yep. And then he goes, what well, after I do to him tonight, he won't be there to help you on Sunday, so. Because it's going to be me. I will win this Sunday. Pretty much what he's saying. So, it ends up being Xavier Woods versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, Dolph Ziggler ends up beating Xavier Woods. He, um, he, uh, super kicked Woods off the apron and Ziggler hit a zigzag and Ziggler ties Woods in the ropes and then he does a super kick on him again for the win. So, yep. So he kind of was playing dirty there at the end. How you won. Of course, doesn't he always? Well, he's a bad guy. Yeah, there was a few moments in his past. He did do pretty good. It's just, he's uh, being a bad boy again. Yeah. Then there was a um, moment of bliss with... Of course, too thick. Bailey and Bliss and Nikki Cross was there. Crazy Nikki. Yep. In the beginning, she's like, wait, before we talk, bring our guests out, where's my coffee? And then Bailey's music kits, and she comes out with the coffee, and she drinks and goes, ah. And then just pretty yep. much, they're talking back and forth. And Bailey was like, you can't handle the truth. You're just a princess that don't deserve nothing. And Bliss is like, um, she's better than Bailey. Bailey's like, you're doing what you're doing to Nikki Cross. It's what you did to Nia Jax and Mickey James. And Melissa says she's looking like, I guess she says something about Bailey's looking at a superstar that's what she wanted to be and I guess that threw Bailey off and she just started attacking Bliss. And Which was awesome. Yep. And then Nikki was getting involved, trying to split him bar, and then it leaves Bailey on the ground. It hurts. So. And then there was back to the state of, um, all Miss Vega and Apollo Crews. Pretty much it was Apollo Crews was looking for, the, um, CN Olmaz, and he was asking Vega, oh, if you're here, then Almas can't be far behind. And then they were just talking, and then she's like, oh, wait, you sure you want Almas, or are you just here to flirt with me? And then Paul's like, what? No. And then all of a sudden, he gets a sneak attack by Almez. And Vega's like, oh, there he is. And yeah. they laugh it off. So that was that. And then, next thing is, beating, beating, go, yeah, go, yeah, go. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> First, heavy machinery. Oh, my God, Otis. Daniel Bryan <laughs> oh. and Rowan, of course, are on the outside. And they're like, all heavy machineries is want to hump things. It's like, what what kind of freaking is that? But, anyway, heavy machinery wins. They did their tag team, like, 
pick up slam together for the win. So, and then, um, after the match, we see Seth Rollins. He attacks the B team with a chair. I guess he's attacking everybody just in case because he doesn't know. He's pretty much having a chair frenzy. He doesn't know who Drew's going to pick. No, wait, not Drew. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's going to pick as the ref. So he's just going to take everybody out. Because whoever wants to sign with Corbin, he's going to take them out. Oh, of course. That way they will, <coughs> he'll run out of people to choose. And then there's a thing. Shane, Drew McIntyre, and Elias. They're pretty much... Shane's just like, and we're not going to talk about what happened last night. Exactly. You don't want to talk about what Roman Reigns did to you. <laughs> Love it. But he's like, we're talking about Drew, what he's going to do to Roman this Sunday. Stomping grounds. And Drew's saying that he's going to win. And then Miz comes out. And then Shane says, first Seth, then you. And Miz shows a clip. And it's Roman hurting them, whatever. And like slow-mo. And just slow motion. Ah, poof. And boom. <laughs> it was funny. But I loved it. I love seeing Roman in slow-mo. And then Miz is like, after this Sunday, I'm going to do a special Miz TV and sh talk about how you got a beat down, Drew yeah. McIntyre. And then, and then he said pretty much uh, Shane and them are all, he's sucking up the airtime. They're sick of it. But he blames himself because it started that World Cup. He's saying he created a monster. Saying you're my responsibility and I'm gonna be the one to end it. And then they're saying about tag team, and then all of a sudden you see truth coming behind slowly. And then he goes, Oh, truth, truth. Why don't we see awesome truth again? And then, of course, it ends up being a. Uh, and then Shane's like, Okay, it'll be you guys versus Drew and Elias, and it'll be uh, an elimination tag team. Yep. So, Missing Truth versus Drew and Elias in Elimination Tag. Um, <laughs> Truth ends up getting eliminated. But, um, you see, what the, what's his name? The one that's running. I don't remember who grabbed the title. I forgot who grabbed the title. First, but someone, whoever, I forgot. Titus? Who, no, no, not Titus. No. Um, but they're running around the ring, they're running around the ring, the one's on the title, and the ref stops him, um, and goes, you can't, you, you can't, yeah, you can't, um, take the title, you can't just, you gotta actually pin Truth for it, you gotta pin him. And <laughs> Truth grabs it and runs into like, the audience. Like, out of nowhere, then, which is awesome, they just run. And then they run after him, and then it's leaving Miz by himself. Um, but, of course, Drew McIntyre ends up beating him with a Claymore kick. Then they hold him up after the match, do another Claymore kick, and then they did, um, another kick to the face to him. So, yeah. Drew's just pointing the point that he's gonna beat Roman. Um, and then there was a little backstage thing with Amber Moon with Manny Rose and DeVille. Carmella, she stops Carmella and she goes, have you seen Rose and DeVille? No, no, but I'm trying to look for truth. I'm trying to look for truth. But if you see them, tell them I have unfinished business with them. Yeah. And then she goes, ah, there they are. And they're eating donuts. And then they're like, what? You upset because I'm I making you better than playing your video games? Making it better? Then they ask for a donut. And then they fought. And then whatnot. It was, it was crazy. So you probably gonna end up seeing a match with Amber Moon and them, obviously. Um, and then there was um, yeah, Oscar, Oscar and Kari and Paige, and then with the Iconics and Paige is like, why in to Tokyo? Oscar and Kari fight you, and if they beat you, they get a title shot for those titles, and they'll be the new champs, and it'll be iconic. Yep. And they're all scared because they know they're going to lose. But anyway, and then you see Drake as Carmella. He's standing and Truth's like, Carmella? And all of a sudden, 
ends up being Drake because he takes the wig off. And he pins and he holds his feet over on the car like so he's d doing a dirty pin. And he actually is a champ and he goes in the car and runs off and goes, I'm getting married. And in truth, being his silly old self, Carmel didn't say she's getting married. And why was I invited? <laughs> but, um... And then the main event was Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in a two out of three falls. And of course, Big e, it's going to be this Sunday, Big E and Woods versus Owens and Zayn. But anyway, the first fall was really quick. Kofi did a trouble in paradise to um, Sami Zayn and Rollins went right to um, Kevin Owens to make sure he didn't get in. So there was that one fall. I'm not sure if the other two had a fall, but I don't think I didn't see it. But the second fall ended up being Rollins doing the stop on Owens for the win. So, that was a crazy match. It was, yeah. it was really crazy. Really crazy. Um, but, what did you thought of SmackDown? Did you thought it was alright? Did you thought it was more boring? I again? mean, the only funny part, and uh, the only awesome part, was with the Roman Reigns the slow mo. Oh. I'm sorry, but that was the only probably much the only good part. But yeah, but I mean, you know, SmackDown. Not, the only way they're gonna get better is if they do what the fans want. Bring back all the. Yep. All that, not make it too kitty friendly. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let us know. And yeah. make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, hey yo, and now it's 205 Live. Yeah. I don't know why, I just like doing 205 Live. And I just like doing ya. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's fun. So. It always makes it easier to. Spice it up a little. Yeah. Um. Now, okay. Drake was talking in the beginning. He was saying, because, you know, last week how, um, it ended up being like a tiebreaker with, um, Drew Gulak and Akira Tawaza. Well, this Sunday it's going to be Drew Gulak versus Akira Tawaza and versus Tony Nies. App checker. Yeah. I kind of like him. Yeah. Um, I like Akira and Tony Nese. I don't like Gulak, though. So. Yeah, Gulak was a loser. So, out of Akira and Nese, I would want to win. So, we'll find out. Yeah. Um, first match ends up being, like we said, Lucha House Party, Graham, Angelique, and Liz Dorado versus The Sing Brothers. <sighs> they're weird. They're really weird. I'm sorry, but I think they're gay. <laughs> they're just weird. They definitely gotta be gay. I don't know. But they're weird. But they won. They beat the Lucha House Party. They end up doing the schoolboy pin, and the one had the handful and the tights on Dorado. That's why he was able to kick out, and they quickly yeah. got out of the ring. Yeah. That's how you win, Sing Brothers. And then he got Brian Kendrick. He went against someone named Rush Rush Taylor. What is up with your pants? Brian Kendrick? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He knows, she just doesn't like Brian Kendrick's pants. Oh, it's weird. It's like it's like it's, it's like rainbow cheetah pattern shiny or something. I don't know. But why don't you put on some like guitar looking pants, maybe with Oh guitar. See stick my Elias. Yeah, no. Like Elias. <laughs> no, or some thunder coming off your pants or something. Not cheetah pattern. That's more like Fandango or freaking uh, Velatine Dream yeah. type of pants. So he ended up winning against Russ Taylor. It was like it was an okay match. He he just ends up winning with um. By pinball, he won with a sliced bread number two. Like, you know, he. Mm. Like, if he roll up and he was sl he sliced and pinned him. Which is weird. So, yeah. But that was that. And then there was an interview with Jack Gallagher. Pretty much, they were talking about how.
they're asking about Gable, and then Galahad's just saying, that just proves that we have unfinished business. But in the meantime, and then that's when Mike and Marie Canales show up, and then Mike's like, you blew it when you couldn't get in the ring. Problem is, people like you are like dead weight. It's hard to keep people like us because we're the good ones. Um, and said, you people like you, Gallagher, you dropped the ball over and over. And then Gallagher's like, you're right. I am in a slump. But next week, why don't I do a match against you so I can give you a black eye right in front of your wife? And then he goes, and Michael's, I'm looking forward for try for you trying. And then, also before that, he was talking about how Drake left. He wasn't even there tonight because he left with the title. But that's that. And then, the main event. Arya Davari versus Oni Larkin again. Oh, boy. Baldy. It's like they have, like, a long rivalry with each other. So. What about your partner? Why don't you bring him out instead? Switch no, it up. No, they have them in NXT. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I'm so used to seeing too much baldness. Too uh, many bald guys. Oni Lork, Oni Lork and Arya Davari had a an, an, an good match. They they were chilling, but I guess Arya Davari just got a little too carried away because it ended up being a DQ. Oni won because Arya used a chair at the midsection. Then he got all crazy and he threw Oni over the announce table. And then he takes him, puts him on the table. He's throwing punches at him. Which and then, didn't look right. <laughs> Which did not look right at all, I'm sorry to say. but. <laughs> and then he took him to the stage and threw him into the Tron thing. And then he did the Hammerlock Lariat. Uh, Hammerlock Lariat? Uh, that might, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then he stares at him, thinks he's all big and bad. And that rivalry is probably... Mm, I don't know. Was it Oni Larkin that was doing that weird... <laughs> I don't, I don't I know think who. So. I think it was. I'm like, I, I don't remember which one was doing... I think it was Oni Larkin. Because he was doing probably. that weird looking breathing maneuver. Probably. Creepy. You never know. But... <laughs> yeah. And then they were showing at the end, before 205 ended, it was just showing Nice, Akira, and Drew. They're just pretty much just talking, saying who's going to win this Sunday. And Nice was just saying, mm. you got to beat me, because I'm me, me, and only me, I'm the champ, blah, blah, blah. And Akira's saying, Nice is tough, Drew is dangerous, <laughs> and he has a fight on his hands. And Drew, you obviously know what he said. I'm going to be the better one. Yeah. Of course. Not. <laughs> I don't like him. Find the nearest cliff. Goodbye. Wee. But, yeah, but that was too I It wasn't really much. Um. You know, Gulak sounds kind of more like gluck. Like, you know, like guck. You know, like gooey stuff. Like guh. Like ugh. Ew. It's pretty much what he is. It's all gook. Yeah, but Jack Gallagher, oh my God, is what. He, uh, yeah, him again with his whiteness, right? Oh, uh, no. I'm surprised. Yeah, but at least he did, I didn't see those ugly uh, socks. Oh, uh, well, no, you're going to see him next week. Ah. Uh, He's going against Mike and Alice. Uh, yeah, but man. Uh, hopefully he beats Mike and Alice. It'd be really weird to see him coming in I'm with gonna... a white suit on top of white. That would be, oh my god. I'm going to laugh when he actually beats Mike and Alice. Mike and Alice goes, damn it. Yeah. Unless Maria cheats. Of course. She always cheats. But. Yeah. That was it. There wasn't much. How did mm. you like this week of 205 Live? You think it was better than last week? D yeah. Mm. Did you like with Arya Mo Oni, which really was a good mess and ended up being Arya being a big baby? Are you looking forward to seeing Jack Gallagher uh, give my canals black eye? Did you like Brian Kendrick going against some person named Russ Taylor? Who knows? Do you like the Singh Brothers? <laughs> they need to, totally need to join Velveteen Dream on it and Fandango and have a girls' day party. 
they'd they be perfect. Oh my god. I could just see it already. Let's get the nails done. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Lipstick. Oh god. That would be so weird. But hey, whatever. But you know, that's just gonna be a little scary. But hopefully. Oh, no, because on the end of SmackDown, he was. Uh, Piss Hound was dressed up as a girl, so I mean. Yep. <laughs> well, I don't know how Breeze was. But, um, that was it. Also, look forward to this Sunday at Stopper Ground, even though they're all repeat matches. Pretty oh, much. Of We've all seen them all wrestled before, so it's not really nothing new. But we'll find out who wins. Yeah. And, yeah. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.